approach it. Usually, we tell true Bible stories to tell of how God is faithful and what faithfulness to God does for those who follow Him. And then we apply it to our lives. Today, we want to help you know what's in the Bible by looking at all the books and telling you what they're about. Without further ado, here are the FCC kids teaching us about what is in the books of the Bible in the Old Testament in the first half. So histories of what God did for his people Israel and the laws they should follow if they want to stay in his presence. Here are the books of the law. Genesis. Genesis. In Genesis, God creates the world, including plants, animals, and people. First humans, Adam and Eve, break God's one rule and break the world at the same time. There's also the story of Noah's Ark and how God used one, I tell you one, family, the family of Abraham, later called Israel, after the flood to bring everyone else back to him. God promises Abraham that he will make Abraham a mighty nation and we will and we see how his son and his grandchildren begin the nation. This is the story of how Abraham's family, now the 12 tribes of Israel, were slaves in Egypt and how God used Moses to lead them and bring them out of slavery. God began to give his people laws, but the people grumbled and complained, even though God did mighty miracles in front of them. God has Moses the people in the building, the Ark of the Covenant, which holds the tablets of the law and represents God's presence to the people in the tabernacle, which is where the Ark would stay when the people came. God creates rules for Israel to follow him so that he could live in their presence. He, could, he wants them to be his example to the rest of the world. Numbers. Numbers. People are counted and getting ready to enter into the promised land that God told Abraham about. God gives them the victory over many enemies, but they still grumble, complain, and rebel against him. Do God prepares Israel to enter the promised land. They even conquer some of it, and Moses gets to see the land before they die. The history.
The story of a Moabite woman named Ruth, who goes with her Jewish mother-in-law back to Israel and helps redeem her family who died in the country of Moab. It's the family of King David. First Samuel. This book starts with the story of the last judge of Israel, Samuel. But it's mostly about the first two kings of Israel. God used Samuel to anoint Saul to be king, but Saul disobeyed God and made excuses for not following his will. God rejected Saul as king. Samuel was then sent by God to anoint David to be king in Saul's place, even though Saul was still king. And he went through many hardships. But always trusted in God, in the end, Saul was killed in the battle. Second Samuel Elijah's work. And God gives it to him. He does some mighty things through God. The people of Israel and Judah get kicked out of the land because they did what was evil and did everything God told them not to do, even though he warned them to return to him over and over and over again. Bible. First Chronicles and Second Chronicles are one book split into two parts. They let people know about Israel and Judah's king, but point out what God was doing, even as kings weren't doing good things. In the end, the promised king from David's line did not come. None of the kings lived up to the promise. It ends on a cliff. This is the history of God's people returning to 
they were kicked out by God for 70 years until they could learn the lesson he was trying to teach them. Ezra is a scribe who God leads to rebuild the temple and bring the people back to worshiping him correctly. After the temple is rebuilt, Ezra reads from the scriptures and the people return to God. Nehemiah! He hears about his people, the Israelites, returning to Jerusalem, but there is no wall around it. This makes him sad because the people are attacked and robbed by the surrounding people. Even though his enemies try hard to stop him, God wins, and the walls are rebuilt. Nehemiah brings justice to his people by stopping the practices that got them kicked out to begin with. This book has the same story from Ezra. Nehemiah and Ezra knew each other. The people hear from the scriptures and return to God. Esther! Though God is never mentioned in this entire book, you can see him at work in Mordecai and Esther's lives and the work they did. Try it again. And that folks is the first part of the Old Testament, the law and history. We hope you learned where these books are in the Bible and what they are about. I'm a gypsy. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for instruction, for conviction, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be complete, fully equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy 3, 16-17